Um, so the first part of this video is just going to be a review of uh, Spider-Man yeah. Across the Spider-Verse and the second part we're going to throw some spoilers in there because in the discussion parts all right so we'll definitely warn you before we hit any spoilers all right yeah. so all right thank you so much for joining us on another novel escape my name is Trevon and this is Daniel Kears hey so <laughs> <laughs> like I honestly never thought that I would be rec um, reviewing this movie to tell you the truth man because I, I don't feel like I saw as much being said about this like right. in other people in, in in other uh reviewers or people looking forward to it i just saw like little mentions of it like i yeah. didn't feel like it was that out there i guess the flash kind of stole the show a little bit yeah definitely a lot of the limelight was taken i i feel like especially with the tone of the first movie sort of setting the precedent for you know kids animation being for a wider audience yeah. i think that this one takes that concept and just puts it on the next level because you have like that base entertainment value like any kid who watches is gonna be like wow but then as an older person who's interested in story character development you know deep cutting uh scenes and dialogue like this is on the top of the charts yeah I yeah think, yeah it that. did first impressions when you walked out the th when you walked out the theater what did you think my, my very first thought was wow i cannot believe that that tied in so seamlessly with the first movie and prepped the third movie so well like i'm just like it, it was a, a thing where we had discussed earlier where in our first episode we talked about sequels where this is a good example of what a sequel should be and how yeah. a sequel should feel yeah, yeah, yeah so definitely high marks on that and i think too the the first movie really left it open enough mm -hmm. because you know um the everybody kind of went their their separate ways and whatever right. and then the way in which this one opened i just i i loved it like they I, I felt like they took um a good amount of time in the first part to kind of develop the characters mm -hmm. in their own universes and where right. they're at or at least your main characters right mm -hmm. so gwen was in her own universe and you saw what she was kind of going through mm -hmm. and then the the event that kind of sparked her you know being a part of this bigger story and bigger right you know, going off to like spider society and all this kind of stuff. And then same thing with Miles, when you got through with Gwen, it went over to Miles and it kind of set him up and what he was going through and the feelings that he was having, you know, um, having, you know, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, the, and, the, and the feelings he was having mm -hmm. and stuff like that, you know, and you know, we'll, I'll discuss it more later. All right, but um, coming out of that theater, man, my kids freaked out. Bro. <laughs> they were, they, I was trying to catch it on video, mm -hmm. but like they were screaming. They were like, yo, that was amazing. They were like, and I just wanted to like find out like what, you know, I asked them like, what was like your favorite part and whatever. And, um, and they gave a couple lines, you know, like, and, and it's, and, I feel as if it's the part that they should have gotten is what they got. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like, yeah. you write a story to get to this one point mm -hmm. when things just, like, climax and hit and everything. And mm -hmm. it was like, they That's got it. They got, That's they awesome. got it. And, like, even some of the um, the big reveals later on, I think, mm -hmm. towards the end. And I'm like, oh, oh, snap. Like, I didn't see it coming. Yeah. And I was like, oh, this is this and this and this. And then they were like... Yeah, and this, and I'm just like, oh, it's not. They're on found, the same page. Yeah, <laughs> they found some stuff that I didn't see, mm -hmm. and I was just like, wow, good job, guys. Awesome. I was just yeah. like, yo, this is yeah. It it was very enjoyable for the for for my entire family, you know. That's that's how it was with me and uh me and my wife. We went to go see it. And like I'm, I'm the nerd out of the two of us. So like stuff was going on. I was like, ooh, ooh. And she, <laughs> she was like, it's not that serious. I was like, but you don't understand. <laughs> like, you don't get it. Hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. Yeah. I like. So how would you rate this? Man, out of five stars, honestly, I would, I would honestly give it a. And this is because I can't really tell what would be, what could be better. Mm. I would give it a four point six. Okay. I would give it a four point six. Um, ranked among other animated uh, movies, it's 
probably in like the top five. I can't really think of anything else, but I feel like I'm, I'm gonna think of something later. But right now, I feel like it's in the top five animated movies right mm. now. That's and that's really. I mean, maybe in the like the last ten years. I, I agree. I agree with your rating, and I, I agree with that statement. Um, definitely top five for me. I was gonna say four point five, so I'm glad we're like in the okay, same nice, nice, nice. Park with that. Um, yeah, no, I 100. percent This definitely set the bar for animated stuff for the future, just in terms of not even like animation wise, just story writing perspective. Yeah, but animation too is just through the roof. Yeah, like, man, like. DC could take some notes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know what 100%, I'm saying? 100%. Because, all right, this is going to be spoiler section, yeah, spoiler guys. <laughs> because spoiler we, can't, we can't keep it spoiler free <laughs> for very long. Um, but the setup at the, at the beginning. Oh, my Lord. The setup at the beginning was really beautifully done. Really good. Um, and then, two, having it very close in content. Like, for instance, everybody's sort of they're going they they have a unique event that's happening in their universe and in their personal lives right but yet there's there's some similarities that kind of you know that kind of join them together mm -hmm. as the different spider-man you know or spider woman across the universes you know so i think that was really cool and how emotional like gwen having to and i remember when we were talking about i don't remember what episode this was but we we're talking about like um, about like Hogwarts and 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 um, Harry Potter, right, 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 and how Harry Potter had a little bit for everybody, which I think is what made it so widely applicable for for so many different audiences. Mm. That's how I felt about this also, where I could totally see it from Gwen's father's standpoint, oh, being yeah. a cop and having to take the oath as a cop and having to stand on top of that oath. Even though it's his own daughter that's getting in trouble. Right, right. And the way I love... So and I'm like, what? Man, how, how the movie framed that. And then something that I, I noticed, too, about the filming was how they implemented color in a lot of their scenes. Yeah. Like, in, in that part that you're talking about, there was, like, that red and blue, like, dynamic juxtaposed with their different views. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. And I like how, like, that all came to a head at the end where, like, the whole time there are conversations were like completely opposite colors or like chaotic. And then at the end, yeah. it was like this nice, mellow, like creamy color over the whole scene. And it was like, oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Storytelling in that way is just awesome. It was, it was dope. It was dope. And um, and two, you know, from, from Miles' perspective and... Um, okay, so again, going back to our first episode when we we're talking about um, creating a story for multiple seasons or for multiple, I feel as if they made this villain big enough. Like, I think what a lot of people and a lot of series and a lot of movies they forget to do is also to add a character arc to your villain. Right. So as the story was progressing, the villain was actually progressing and getting badder and badder. You yeah. know, like he was getting even worse and worse to the point where like he got to he started out as being kind of a joke in yeah. the beginning and then self aware of that too like yeah. he's just you know I'm stealing an ATM oh yeah. spider man cool <laughs> and at the end he's like I will destroy the multiverse <laughs> yeah <laughs> so it's like he has a whole arc too that you're following miles and his parents have an arc the parents have an arc like every like, there's so many arcs in this whole series that is just, it's mind-blowing how you keep all that stuff together. Right. Honestly, I wanted to, I wanted to see who wrote this film and, and stuff like that, because that's... All good stuff. It was good. It was very, very good in keeping the arcs together, and and that mattered. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And then, two, you have the big villain who's stretching over multiple movies, but then you have, like, the, the smaller antagonists who, for Miles, it was Gwen that was an antagonist. It was... You know Peter Parker, who was an antagonist, and also, um, you know, uh, the entirety of the Spider. Yeah, the entirety of the Spider Society. Except for pretty much. Spider Punk. 
which I thought was a cool like Spider Punk was dope. Yeah, and, and like I was really I cool. love how they set stuff up. Yeah, like you saw him in the beginning where he was like picking stuff off. Yeah. And like yeah, I'm you know I'm just taking this for whatever. Come to find out, all of that was used for Gwen's little thing. Yeah, like I think that was really cool. And then having him land in another New York, and this is another place where I thought they did color very well. Uh, I'll, timer can get the <laughs> bucket because immediately when he landed you notice that the color of this new york was that darker shade of green yeah it just yeah, seemed yeah, yeah, darker yeah. it wasn't like yes. so like and that's what ticked me off too yeah, it was like it hmm. ticked me off i'm like <laughs> the moment he at the end when when mom was like spider-man who's spider-man yeah it's like i was oh. like oh snap he's in the wrong universe <laughs> i was just like and then my kids were like what and i was like He's in the wrong university. <laughs> of course, I probably spoiled it for everybody else that was around <laughs> me. But I was so excited for that. Oh, like, man. it just caught me by such surprise. Because I'm expecting him to go back. I'm expecting a certain ending. Right. And it caught me off. It caught me by such surprise. Like, I did not, I did not think that they would just do that. You know what I mean? But it was dope. Yeah. And having him be that universe's prowler as opposed to his yeah i thought that was very interesting my kids loved it yes yeah, like my kids world. loved it my kids absolutely loved it where he was just like my son was like he even had the accent he has the hair he yeah. was just like yeah that was a huge twist because I, and two i recognize that miles is and this is you know, generally how I can tell like when, when the story isn't finished because I was looking at time, I was like, how long is this movie? Yeah, yeah. And I'm just like, it's getting down to the end. I could feel like it was getting down to the end, but his his character arc was at a weird place Yeah, where he hadn't quite as yet learned his lesson. And that, that's, that, that was bothering me because I was like, I can hear this music yeah. amping up and there's still a story going on. Yeah. <laughs> Please slow down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like this is this is not going where it's supposed to go here. Yeah. So it was it was a nice surprise. Um, let me see what else did you like? Uh, definitely liked how you know the relationship between him and his father is framed, mm -hmm. and how you know being Spider Man he tries to talk to his dad, and then his dad later uses with Spider Man or he himself said, <laughs> oh, yeah. and then like <laughs> like you said, have, the parents having an arc like you saw them like develop as characters yeah. as parents and then like it, it's a little weird to me and it's just a just a side note it's a little weird to me how they don't suspect he's spider-man especially his dad like i don't understand how that's not a thing well, sometimes but sometimes too i mean I, and this is what i i said in my like initial like review of this thing it was that um i could feel it from the parent standpoint like i that is something that because sometimes Unfortunately, some parents underestimate their kids. Right. You see what I'm saying? And it's like, and you want to, you want to keep them as kids. They're growing up too fast. It's like, no, you need to relax. Like now, like my older son, 12 years old, and his voice is starting to change. And so it's weird because now he's coming downstairs and he's like, "Good morning." I'm like, "Wait a second. <laughs> hey. Like, wait. Pop hold the on. <laughs> like, we didn't get to that point in our relationship yet, son. You can just come step to me with a good morning, morning with a deep voice." <laughs> Relax, you know, like slow down. You're not supposed to be growing yet. Or to keep with the theme in the video, hey. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, no, bro. You know, so I could feel it from the parent standpoint. Yeah. And I'm just like, yeah, I, it wasn't like too out of, like their, their reactions and stuff to me wasn't yeah, too realistic. out of character. It was actually very realistic and very heartfelt. Mm -hmm. I could see myself in that. And as a result, I was just like, dang, dude. I don't want him to be Spider-Man. Yeah. Because, like, I didn't understand, like, when I was younger, and I would, and, and I got my, it was my second car, and I got, I, I was an Acura Integra, and I would drive off, and when I'm driving off, I would make it a point to, to make the wheels squeal. Mm -hmm. Urgh! <laughs> and my mom used to say, like, she would tell me later, she was like, every time he drives off, my heart just pounds. That's what she told me. I'm just like, yo, I understand now. Yeah. Man. I understand now because I'm just like, dude, like, Things don't kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? And I, I love how they, they conveyed that through the movie. And it, it wasn't in a way that, you know, I don't think it went over the heads of kids. I think that because it was made for everybody, yeah, you sort of get 
a peek into the different perspectives yeah. that are being shown and i think that's very very cool especially when you know and I, this i think this is like my closing thing right here i love 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 how the fact that miles was not supposed to be spider-man at yes. all like how that how that happens that? and then he realizes that Gwen knew, yeah. Peter Parker knew, they didn't visit him because of this, none of the other people told him, yeah. and they were just He's like, the oh, anomaly. we'll just leave him yeah. alone, and I think, too, in them doing that, and them leaving him alone like that, that also spurred a lot of what happened. So, that, that I forget what line it was, um, when the vampire Spider-Man was just like, you don't belong here! I was like, yeah. no! <laughs> just like, God. crushing him, and it was like, why are you so, why are you going so hard right now? <laughs> I was like, really? Come on! Just angry, just. I'm just like, yo, that 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 hurt. Yeah. That hurt me. Like honestly, I was just like, wow, that's. But the the fact that his parents like set him up too at the beginning, like you know, life is tough out there, blah 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 blah. I just don't want to see you get hurt. And the exact same thing that his mom was kind of scared of, ha you mm -hmm. know, happening to him happened to him, and it just. I was and you like, saying wow. that reminded me of something she said in that conversation. She told him, you know, you're great, you're smart, you're talented, you can belong anywhere. Mm -hmm. And, like, I feel like, man, like, hearing that from your mom and then going to a place where, you know, you're one of thousands and you're supposed to belong and yeah. hearing that you don't belong and you're not even supposed to exist, I feel like that set up sort of like that, wow, like, okay. And he wants to belong, yeah. too. Because he got there and he was like, hey, how you guys doing? All right, what are we doing? I'm what are we doing? Morales. I'm yeah. Miles Morales. <laughs> yeah, let's go. So he wanted to be in that group and wanted to be accepted. You know what I mean? And yeah, it was dope. But there was a lot of coolness factor too. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of coolness factor. The um, I forgot what the name of the New, New York was. Um, Nueva York? It was like Mum... Oh, Mum, uh, Mum, Mumbai York, or yeah, like Mahatma Mum, York, Mum Hati, or something like that. Like Manhattan, it, it, yeah. yeah, like Manhattan or something. It was a like mashup. That. Yeah, yeah, it was a mashup of like Man. I think it, was it Man or Brooklyn? Or was it Brooklyn? I don't quite remember. But yeah, mashup, yeah, it was a mashup. But it was like an Indian version of New York, and yeah, I thought man, that was cool. It was really cool. Very beautiful. Yeah. I, I did have this one gripe though. When that building was falling down there, saving all the people. Yeah. I was like, they didn't save. <laughs> no, they didn't save. <laughs> There's a lot of people that died in that one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but still, yet, the fact that, yeah, oh, we're spoiling everything. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But him saving the general. Um, actually, Man, the coolest. I, I take issue with that. I take mm. issue with that. Because Gwen could have said or done something beyond just no wait and yeah. then letting him go like especially her knowing what that is and what he just did like it's just like okay you couldn't handle that better so i feel like uh vampire spider-man and the um pregnant spider woman yeah could have like i mean they, they were justified in being angry at her for that yeah that's the only note i have for that because i was like okay well you could have done something because you knew but I don't know. I felt like she was trying to be secretive and yet just didn't accomplish. <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. know. Was, you know, it's it's a small <laughs> detail, though. Yeah. But, so it's not like a, a big thing. And that's why it's like it's good to discuss it, too, because mm -hmm. now we can actually see some other some other issues that, mm -hmm. that might have been in there. Um, and the saving of that person and how that might have affected. But yeah, overall, though phenomenal i think it was a phenomenal film and i don't agree. see i don't honestly see that many people talking about it um or at least in my channels the people that i see on youtube and stuff like that i don't see that many yeah, people talking I'm not about seeing it like news but i'm sure that once it does sort of like hit the main vein of the mainstream like yeah they're gonna be like okay yeah like this is really good. and some of the appearances too oh my danny um yeah yeah da danny yeah Donald is it glover, glover? yeah yeah. And uh, who else was in there? I feel like there was one of the live appearance uh, uh, or someone uh, else. Andrew Garfield. Was Spider he in there? Yeah. He was in the hologram. Like, oh, the hologram. yeah, yeah, yeah. And they made mention, too, of like, oh, the little debacle over there on Earth. Um, 1999. Yeah. Something like that. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they made mention of, even though, you know, because now there's a little bit of a um, back and forth between what Sony's doing and also um, right. and between the Marvel and Sony. I like how they, they said that uh, Doctor Strange and what, you know, Tom Holland Spider-Man was doing yeah. had, like, impact on their world. Yeah. I think that was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, side note, this has nothing to do with anything because it didn't come up ever again. I thought it was hilarious that Lego Spider-Man was like a yeah. thing. And he's like, we have a problem. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. So, bringing all those universes in, man. And, um, yeah. Kudos to Sony. Yeah, awesome. awesome Good movie. job. Awesome movie. You know, do it again <laughs> on the third yeah, one. I hope the third one is good. I really <laughs> hope so, too. I really hope so, too. All right, well... Thank you so much for watching, yeah. and um, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be coming out with more content, more movie reviews, um, looking at different stories from different movies, and also um, look for some book reviews. We have, we already have two other podcasts that were recording, recorded, but they're in the editing process. So stay tuned for that. All right, thank you again for joining us. Thanks, guys. Have a wonderful day. Peace. Peace.